Hello everyone, my name is David and this is the Ogre. We're going to select the map we're going to play in and then we're going to roll our character. Okay, so we're going for sort of a savage look. I'm going to pick this hair. Also, let's give him a beard. For armor, I want something simple like leather armor. Maybe more like this one, yes. Let's give him some pants. And for a weapon, let's say he wields an axe. And he also likes to wield a shield. This one looks good. And the portrait, I'm going to pick this one because it kind of looks like like the avatar. Alright, so this is our character and his name is going to be Kinara Morian Kainan. Yes, I like this name, Kainan. So our character's name is Kainan and since we're doing Iron Sword, let's pick these attributes and let's start with Iron, to Iron, to Heart, 1 Edge, 3 Wits, and one shadow. For assets, let's start with the path and let's say he's a wayfinder. Alright, we give him the wayfinder asset. Now for combat talents, our first pick is going to be Sunderer and our second pick is also going to be a combat talent and it's going to be Shieldbearer. For his personality, Let's say he is brave, but he's also wrathful, which could be a disadvantage at some point. So that's our character, and this is our map. Alright, now here let's say that we're only going to use Iron Storm themed locations and NPCs, and also only Iron Storm foes. Okay, and we're going to start our game by creating a settlement and we have the settlement of Whitefall and this is a new settlement ruled by Hilth, a calm mystic and they are troubled by bandits in the wilderness yeah this seems like a nice settlement to start and the map shows a bridge and a river so I think it's fitting to put it somewhere in this area so we put that here and this is the settlement of Whitefall. I'm going to make the letters black because I think it's easier to read. Alright. The Ogre gave us this settlement and the ruler is this mystic Hill and it says that Hill is a calm mystic who wants to learn the secrets of necromancy. Well that might be interesting. She intends to hunt monsters for ingredients. She is usually thoughtful and sometimes resentful. Alright, so perhaps let's change the way she's dressed so she looks more like a necromancer. We can give her this black robe and perhaps a portrait that's more sinister looking. Yeah, maybe this one. And. Right, so perhaps that looks that looks more more like a necromancer, maybe a bit more pale, and that's it. So that's Hild, the leader of Whitefall, and very likely a person which we will interact during this story. So Kainen has been traveling through this region, and he just arrived at the settlement of Whitefall, where he has never been before. He decides to spend the night here and he wants to find out what's going on in this settlement. For that, we're going to make a move and we're going to do the gather information move. But before we can do that, we have to swear our main vow and what we're going to do is we're going to use the oracles to come up with something. So we go to the oracles and uh, let's select here characters and let's roll on the goals. So it says that the goal is to cure an ill. 
And the question now is, who is afflicted by this illness or illness? And we're going to use the oracle. So let's ask 50-50 if the person that is afflicted by something is Kynan or if it's someone else. So let's say that the odds are 50-50. Yes means that Kynan is the one afflicted. So yes, Kynan has some kind of affliction that he must cure. Okay, my interpretation of, of what we roll on the table and on the Jason Oracle is that Kynan is afflicted by visions that mainly come as nightmares that compel him to travel north and he's been having these these visions and nightmares since he fought or or confronted a creature let's say that the creature is this one a wit a white since he confronted a white some time ago and he's trying to understand what it all means and find the source of of these visions that compel him to travel so that's why he's here right now he's on his way to the north making his way north and he's going to try to find if there is someone or something in whitefall that can help him uh, we're going to swear our main vow now and it's going to be resolve visions i like to make my vows ambiguous or open-ended like that so it's just two words resolve visions because Kynon feels that there's something to these visions and he wants to see them through and let's say that the rank is extreme and we haven't made any real progress yet because we don't know what these visions mean and now we're going to make a move we are going to gather information here on Whitefall and what we're trying to do is find out if there is anyone here that knows about these kinds of visions that can help us understand what's happening to us. According to the move we roll plus wits and uh, we don't add a bonus because uh, we have no bond with this community so we're gonna roll with wits and we have a weak hit. On a weak hit, the information complicates your quest or introduces a new danger. Envision what you discover and take plus one momentum. So let's gonna add one momentum and let's figure out what this means. So we're in the settlement of Whitefall and it says basically that we can find out something about, about our visions here, but there is a complication. And I'm going to assume that the complication is that the person that can help us needs, needs us to do something for them first. And here is going to be easy because we have Hild, who is a mystic, so she probably knows about visions. and. And yes, she's the leader of Whitefall, so we have two options. We know that Whitefall is troubled by bandits in the wilderness, and we also know that Hild is, wants to learn the secrets of necromancy, and she wants ingredients from monsters. Now, I don't think that the first time she meets us, she's going to tell us that she wants to learn about necromancy, so probably that's not what she would say, uh, what's most likely is that since she's, she, since she's the leader of Whitefall, she wants us to deal with these bandits, and that's what I'm gonna go with. So we meet Hild, the mystic, and we tell her about our predicament, that we are having these visions and nightmares, and that this happens since we confronted a white, and she basically tells us that she has encountered this before, she knows of visions and curses like, like this one and that she's willing to help us if we help her first. Now what we're going to do is we're going to roll a bandit character who is going to act 
as the leader of these bandits to hide in the wilderness. Uh, let's try a few. Uh, this one looks promising. Borden is a deceitful bandit who wants to inflict pain. He intends to raid a settlement. He is usually false and sometimes reserved. Yeah, he seems perfect for the occasion, so let's just put him anywhere here around the wilderness. And let's go back to Hild. So she tells us that these bandits are raiding the settlement. They usually uh, come in small groups of two or three. It's a small gang. And they come at night and they raid the nearby farms. Sometimes they raid inside the settlement proper. And he wants us to deal with them. She says that if we get rid of these bandits, she will help us resolving our problem. After spending some time pondering how to proceed, Kynan thinks that these bandits usually have someone inside the settlement or are members of the settlement themselves. And he is going to ask around, see if he can find anything out. So we are going to again make a gather information move and the outcome here is going to determine whether we find someone inside the settlement or some leads as to whom inside the settlement knows something about these bandits. Again we're going to roll with wits and we have a weak hit. As the description here says, uh, the information complicates your quest or introduces a new danger. So my interpretation is going to be that there is an opportunity to learn something, but we're going to face a danger. Probably we're going to face some some of these bandits or or one of them at least. Uh, first, we're going to add a plus one momentum from the move, and now let's resolve this encounter. For that we are going to add a new map that I made and we're going to use a custom map and let's say simply tavern. We save it and now we can play on this map. And we're going to add a couple characters to this tower here. Let's pick some characters from the settlement of Whitefall. We just drag and drop them and let's create a new one. And let's say he's a commoner. And we just put him anywhere. Let's put him here. And let's place Kynan here. Perhaps he's been speaking with this person right here, this guy named Sigbert, and someone overhears the conversation or perhaps someone he spoke earlier uh, told the bandits that there was this guy asking questions around Whitefall about them. And what's going to happen is that a bandit is going to enter the, this tavern and confront Kainan. The first thing we have to do when starting combat in Iron Sword is perform the enter the fray move and we set the rank of our foe, in this case let's say that this bandit is a troublesome foe and that our axe causes two harm which is standard when you're wielding a weapon such as this and now let's roll plus hard because we're facing off against this foe and let's roll and it's a weak hit on a weak hit choose one prepare to act taking initiative or bolster your position by taking plus two momentum so what we're going to do is that we're going to take initiative what this means is that we are in control of the of the situation right now since we have initiative, our first move is going to be strike, basically just trying to hit the bandit with our axe, and to do that we roll plus iron. 
and that's a weak hit and on a weak hit we inflict harm but we lose initiative so we mark progress on the combat track and we lose initiative the bandit feeling emboldened now comes at us with his weapon and our only option here is to clash and we do that by rolling with iron and it's a strong hit and because we have the shield bearer asset when you clash in close quarters take plus one momentum on a strong hit so we gain one momentum and then on a strong hit inflict your harm and choose one we take another momentum, another plus one momentum, or a flip plus one harm, okay. We mark our harm, filling the whole progress bar for this combat, and we also gain another momentum. And the bandit is hurt, and he's pretty much beaten. We have recovered the initiative, and it's now time to end the fight. We roll for progress, and we get a strong hit, so the bandit is completely out of the fight, he is not willing to fight anymore and it's time to decide whether he surrenders or whether he dies. The way we're going to do this is we're going to ask uh, the yes and no oracle. And let's say it's uh, very likely that he will surrender because he doesn't want to die and he's also not a real fighter. So yes, the bandit surrenders, he's uh, in a very bad shape, he's bleeding all over but he's going to surrender. And now before he has any chance to come up with something, we are going to ask him about the whereabouts of the bandits. And to do that, we're going to make a compel move. And since we're threatening him, we're going to use iron. So we roll with iron. And it's a strong hit. In a strong hit, you take plus one momentum. And if you use this exchange to gather information, make that move now and add plus one. So first we add momentum, now we're gonna add plus one to our next move, which is going to be gather information. And now we go to gather information and we roll with wits. And again, it's a strong hit. On a strong hit, you discover something useful and specific. The path you must follow or action you must take to make progress is made clear and you may take plus two momentum and well the information we discover is obviously the whereabout of the bandits and uh, the bandit we just defeated tells us the location of the rest of his gang and of course we're gonna take him with us because we don't actually trust what he's saying uh, for now it's a good time to mark progress on our vow because we are one step closer to fulfilling our bargain with Hill, which is to defeat the bandits and then she will help us resolve our visions. This seems like a good point to end uh, this episode. I don't know if perhaps we're going to continue the same story. I've been thinking of making short episodes or short independent stories. I think that what we have so far has a beginning, middle and some sort of ending. I don't know if people are really interested in watching several episodes of the same story or they rather watch independent episodes, each one with different characters and different settings and that way they can they can see everything that you can do with Iron Sword and the Ogre. So I'm open to suggestions, please let me know in the comments below if you want me to continue with this episode and this story or you rather have something different every episode. Thank you and if you enjoyed please subscribe to the channel and like this video.